Good evening and welcome to the Cerebral Mix, the show that explores the unseen and unheard relationships between narrative and sound. This is episode 19 of our poetry series. On this week's show, we'll hear poems from Andrew Marvel, Edgar Allan Poe, Hilary Bullock, Lionel Johnson, Robert Graves, Sarah Teasdale, Sir Henry Newbolt, Thomas More, and William Butler Yeats. So let's get on with the music and poetry on The Cerebral Mix. Oh, 
Of Summer by Thomas Moore. Tis the last rose of summer, left blooming alone. All her lovely companions are faded and gone. No flower of her kindred, no rosebud is nigh to reflect back her blushes or give sigh for sigh. I'll not leave thee, thou lone one, to pine on the stem, since the lovely are sleeping. Go, sleep thou with them. Thus kindly I scatter thy leaves o'er the bed, where thy mates of the garden lie, scentless and dead. So soon may I follow, when friendships decay, and from love's shining circle the gems drop away, when true hearts lie withered, and fond ones are flown, Oh, who would inhabit this bleak world alone?
teenagers in Rechester, Indiana, who said that they were buzzed by flying saucers. Now that story didn't me very much, and, uh, and after going over the thing, I decided that it would stand a little bit of checking. For one thing, I didn't uh, exactly believe all of it, so I must have been now that I believe a great deal more of it, believe a great deal more of it, believe a great deal more of it, believe a great deal more of it. say to you don't mean a thing without the feelings between us too I, I love
puppies, birdies and monkeys Don't need verbal language to say how much they love ya Meow, 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 what? could say to you don't mean a thing without the feelings between us the two to his coy mistress by andrew marvel had we but world enough, and time, this coyness lady, were no crime, we would sit down and think which way to walk and pass our long love's day. Thou, by the Indian Ganges side, shouldst rubies find. I, by the tide of Humber, would complain. I would love you ten years before the flood, and you should, if you please, refuse till the conversion of the Jews. My vegetable love should grow vaster than empires, and more slow. An hundred years should go to praise thine eyes and on thy forehead gaze, two hundred to adore each breast, but thirty thousand to the rest, an age at least to every part. And the last age should show your heart. For, lady, you deserve this state, nor would I love at a lower rate. But at my back I always hear Time's winged chariot hurrying near. And yonder, all before us lie deserts of vast eternity. Thy beauty shall no more be found, nor in thy marble vault shall sound my echoing song. Then worms shall try that long-preserved virginity, and your quaint honour turn to dust and into ashes all my lust. The graves are fine and private place, but none, I think, do there embrace. Now, therefore, while the youthful hue sits on thy skin like morning dew, and while thy willing soul transpires at every pore with instant fires, now let us sport us while we may, and now, like amorous birds of prey, rather at once our time devour than languish in his slow-chapped power. Let us roll all our strength and all our sweetness up into one ball, and tear our pleasures with rough strife through the iron gates of life. Thus, though we cannot make our son stand still, yet we will make him run.
No matter what you do, no matter whether you leave the wave, you're always going to end up back at the fan. You know, if you leave the fan, you're always going to end up back at the wave. And in between, you might hit some coffee strainers, but in the end, you're just going to... It's nothing... Life is fruitless, and we're all flo floating in an eternal void.
2E, Introduction to Love Songs, by Sarah Teasdale. I have remembered beauty in the night. Against black silences I wake to see a shower of sunlight over Italy and green Ravello dreaming on her height. I have remembered music in the dark. The clean, swift brightness of a fugue of box, and running water singing on the rocks when once in English woods I heard a lark. But all remembered beauty is no more than a vague prelude to the thought of you. You are the rarest soul I ever knew. Lover of beauty, nightliest and best, my thoughts seek you as waves that seek the shore. And when I think of you, I am at rest. Behind those lighted windows is a kind of man history only favors a nation with once in a long, long time. Oh, oh, oh.
To a Traveler by Lionel Johnson The mountains and the lonely death at last Upon the lonely mountains, O oh strong friend The wandering over and the labor past Thou art indeed at rest Earth gave thee of her best That labor and this end Earth was thy mother, and her true son thou. Earth called thee to a knowledge of her ways. Upon the great hills, up the great streams now, Upon earth's kindly breast, Thou art indeed at rest, Thou and thine arduous days. Fare thee well, O strong heart, The tranquil night looks calmly on thee, and the sun pours down his glory over thee, O heart of might. Earth gives thee perfect rest, Earth whom thy swift feet pressed, Earth whom the vast stars crown. Jesus. 
That's the end of the first hour of the Cerebral Mix Poetry Series, Episode 19. Let's move on into the second hour of the show.
Vitae Lampada by Henry Newbolt There's a breathless hush in the close tonight. Ten to make and the match to win, a bumping pitch and a blinding light, an hour to play and the last man in. And it's not for the sake of a ribboned coat or the, the selfish hope of a season's fame, but his captain's hand on his shoulder smote. Play up, play up and play the game. The Sand of the Desert is sodden red, red with the wreck of a square that broke, the gatlings jammed and the colonel dead, and the regiment blind with dust and smoke. The river of death has brimmed his banks and England's far, an honour and name. But the voice of a schoolboy rallies the ranks, play up, play up and play the game. This is the word that year by year, while in her place the school is set, 
every one of her sons must hear, and none that hears it dare forget. This they all with a joyful mind bear through life like a torch in flame, and falling, fling to the host behind, play up, play up and play the game.
The South Country by Hilaire Belloc When I am living in the Midlands that are sodden and unkind, I light my lamp in the evening, my work is left behind, and the great hills of the South Country come back into my mind. The great hills of the South Country, they stand along the sea, and it's there, walking in the high woods, that I could wish to be. And the men that were boys when I was a boy, walking along with me. The men that live in North England, I saw them for a day. Their hearts are set upon the waste fells, their skies are fast and grey. From their castle walls a man may see the mountains far away. The men that live in West England, they see the Severn strong, a rolling on rough water brown, light aspen leaves along. They have the secret of the rocks, and the oldest kind of song. But the men that live in the South Country are the kindest and most wise, they get their laughter from the loud surf, and the faith in their happy eyes comes surely from our sister the spring, when over the sea she flies. The violets suddenly bloom at her feet, she blesses us with surprise. I never get between the pines, but I smell the Sussex air, nor I never come on a belt of sand, but my home is there. And along the sky, the line of the downs, so noble and so bare. A lost thing could I never find, nor a broken thing mend, and I fear I shall be all alone when I get towards the end. Who will there be to comfort me, or who will be my friend? I will gather and carefully make my friends of the men of the Sussex Weald, they watch the stars from silent folds, they stiffly plough the field. By them and the God of the South Country my poor soul shall be healed. If I ever become a rich man, or if ever I grow to be old, I will build a house with deep thatch to shelter me from the cold, and there shall the Sussex songs be sung and the story of Sussex told. I will hold my house in the high wood, within a walk of the sea, and the men that were boys when I was a boy shall sit and drink with me.
The Shivering Beggar by Robert Graves Near Clapham Village, where fields began, St. Edward met a beggar man. It was Christmas morning, the church bells told. The old man trembled for the fierce cold. St. Edward cried, It is monstrous sin, a beggar to lie in rags so thin. An old grey beard and the frost so keen. I shall give him my fur-lined gabardine. He stripped off his gabardine of scarlet and wrapped it round the aged varlet, who clutched at the folds with a muttered curse, quaking and chattering seven times worse. Said Edward, Sir, it would seem you freeze, most bitter at your extremities. Here are gloves and shoes and stockings also, that warm upon your way you may go. The man took stocking and shoe and glove, blaspheming Christ our Saviour's love, yet seemed to find but little relief, shaking and shivering like a leaf. Said the saint again, I have no great riches, yet take this tunic, take these breeches, my shirt and my vest, take everything, and give due thanks to Jesus the King. The saint stood naked upon the snow, long miles from where he was lodged at Bow, praying, O oh God, my faith, it grows faint. This would try the temper of any saint. Make clean my heart, almighty, I pray, and drive these sinful thoughts away. Make clean my heart, if it be thy will, this damned old rascal's shivering still. He stooped, he touched the bigger man's shoulder, and asked him, did the frost nip colder? Frost, said the beggar, no stupid lad, tis the palsy makes me shiver so bad.
You're listening to the Cerebral Mix on Double O Radio with your host, Sound Chaser. That'll wrap things up for the second hour of Poetry Series Episode 19 on the Cerebral Mix. Let's head into the third and final hour for this week.
When You Are Old by William Butler Yeats When you are old and gray and full of sleep and nodding by the fire, take down this book and slowly read and dream of the soft look your eyes had once and of their shadows deep. How many loved your moments of glad grace and loved your beauty with love false or true, but one man loved the pilgrim soul in you and loved the sorrows of your changing face. And bending down beside the glowing bars, murmur a little sadly how love fled and paced upon the mountains overhead and hid his face amid a crowd of stars. Thank you.
To Marie Louise by Edgar Allan Poe. Not long ago, the writer of these lines, in the mad pride of intellectuality, maintained the power of words, denied that ever a thought arose within the human brain beyond the utterance of the human tongue. And now, as if in mockery of that boast, two words, two foreign soft dissyllables, Italian tones, made only to be murmured by angels dreaming in the moonlit dew that hangs like chains of pearl on Herman Hill, have stirred from out the abysses of his heart, unthought-like thoughts that are the souls of thought, richer, far wilder, far diviner visions than even the seraph harper Israfel, who has the sweetest voice of all God's creatures, could hope to utter. And I, my spells are broken, 
the pen falls powerless from my shivering hand. With thy dear name as text, though bidden by thee, I cannot write, I cannot speak or think, alas, I cannot feel, for tis not feeling, this standing motionless upon the golden threshold of the wide-open gate of dreams, gazing entranced adown the gorgeous vista, and thrilling as I see upon the right, upon the left, and all the way along, amid unpurpled vapors, far away to where the prospect terminates, thee only.
That'll wrap things up for Cerebral Mix, episode 19 of our poetry series. This show is cre- created under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Share Alike License. All of the poetry used on this show is released by LibriVox to the public domain. The music played on this show carries a Creative Commons license. Information about the Creative Commons licenses and the release pages for these songs may be found in the show notes on the Cerebral Rift. HTTP colon slash slash C E R E B R A L R I F T dot O R G. This is your host Sound Chaser signing off and wishing you the best of free listening.